After studying and becoming an expert on a subject, you may decide to narrow your focus and share your knowledge by teaching. It requires expert knowledge in a field of study and sharing it effectively with students in a university environment. It's an excellent career path if you enjoy academia and want to use your expertise to inspire a new generation of learners. In this video, we discuss what being a university professor entails and explore what you need to know about becoming a professor in Canada. University professors divide their time between teaching and research. Some of their specific duties are teaching students, especially in universities or colleges in different academic areas, depending on their specialization. Designing teaching curriculums and course content. Assigning projects, giving assignments, exams, and tests for students to determine their academic performance. Offering mental health support to students on issues relating to their academics. Conducting systematic research on topics within their field, including posting articles on different subject matters, under a field of study. Several factors determine the salary of a professor in Canada. Factors such as the type of university, either private or public, the field of study the professor specializes in, and their years of experience influence the salary level of a university professor. Considering these factors, the average salary for a professor is $99,921 per year. Before you become a university professor, you need to get a doctoral degree in the field of study you want to specialize in. Secondly, you need to have a good GPA. So, as a student aiming to be a professor, you need to work hard and maintain excellent academic performance. Having a great GPA significantly increases your chances of becoming a professor. Lastly, another essential factor for attaining a position as a professor is experience. You first need teaching experience either as a lecturer or in assistant positions before becoming a professor. Professors specialize in different academic areas. However, the steps you can take to become a professor are similar regardless of the subject area. Here's a guide on how to become a professor in Canada. 1. Get a bachelor's degree. The first step to becoming a university professor is obtaining a bachelor's degree within your preferred subject area. For instance, if you want to become a law professor, you can study for a bachelor's degree in an area that is directly related to law. Ensure the course you choose to study in your undergraduate or postgraduate program relates to what you want to teach as a professor. Make sure building a good GPA at this point is your primary focus. While going through your undergraduate program, work closely with professors on specific projects so they can reflect in your resume. 2. Participate in an assistantship. During your graduate years, participating in an assistantship is also a necessary step to take if you want to become a professor. An assistantship program is an arrangement that focuses on providing financial aid to graduate students who teach and research to further the university's ideals and their personal education. There are different assistantships depending on the subject area you specialize in. Some assistantships involve collecting, documenting, formulating, and analyzing research data. Other forms of assistantships can involve instructional or teaching related activities such as marking or grading scripts, assignments, and projects or teaching in class lectures. Assistantship programs provide you with experience, especially in the teaching area. The programs also help stabilize students' GPAs because you need to meet a minimum grade point average before taking up an assistantship position. 3. Get a master's degree or PhD. After deciding on the subject area you want to specialize in, getting an advanced degree should be your next move. Make sure you select a top-tier graduate school, 
with an excellent reputation and brilliant lecturers and professors. The reason for selecting a good graduate school is, to increase the chances of you becoming a professor in a similar institution. Getting a degree from a graduate school known for its prestige boosts your resume. Instead of getting a master's degree or, in addition to it, you can get a PhD in the area, in which you want to specialize. Getting a PhD shows your proficiency in your area of specialization. You can still become a professor with a master's degree. However, you typically need a doctoral degree to work as a full-time, tenure-track university professor. 4. Gain experience. Before you can become a professor, you need to gain teaching experience. Gaining experience as a tutor, an assistant professor, or a high school teacher provides you with helpful insight into what teaching truly entails. It also gives you an opportunity to hone your skills and develop effective teaching strategies. Listing out such experiences in your resume goes a long way, in your journey to become a professor. 5. Obtain necessary certifications and qualifications. Your province or territory of residence may require you to complete specific certifications, before becoming a professor in a particular field. In addition, certain professionally regulated fields, such as medicine, law, architecture, psychology, or engineering, usually require aspiring professors to gain a practicing license. So, prioritize finding and obtaining these certifications or licenses. Although employers may not necessarily request such credentials, acquiring them demonstrates your commitment to gaining more knowledge, and makes you stand out among candidates. 6. Publish texts or articles in your field. To show your level of expertise, or proficiency in the subject area you specialize in, publishing articles or texts is necessary. To become a university professor, you need to publish multiple works, ranging from articles to printed books. Your chances of becoming a university professor are significantly higher, if you include your works in your resume, and if they're well known. So, if you are aspiring to be a professor, publish lots of writing as you can and make sure they are recognized officially. Apart from the technical skills, that gain through obtaining professional degrees, there are soft skills that professors need to be able to perform their job effectively. Some of these soft skills are Communication skills Professors need to be able to communicate appropriately with their students. Such communication skills involve articulating in such a way that listeners can understand. For instance, most courses professors teach are usually technical, and involve the use of jargon. Therefore, professors need to be able to explain the meaning of such jargon, or elevated language to students to avoid confusion. A professor must be able to listen clearly to students, who ask questions to provide accurate answers, that satisfy the curiosity of such students. Sometimes, while explaining a concept under a topic, a professor might need to write on the board. A professor must be able to write clearly, and legibly so students can understand their message clearly. Solid Reasoning and Problem-Solving Skills When a professor is confronted with a problem, a professor must be able to recognize the nature of a problem, and proffer an accurate solution to such a problem. A professor must be able to determine the costs, and benefits of a possible action reasonably. Depending on the area of specialization, there is always new information, or materials. So professors must be able to use their reasoning skills, to understand new concepts, so that they can accurately pass on the knowledge to students. In some instances, a professor can bring up new ideas to add flair to a topic, or boost students' interest. Creativity is also essential. Professors need to be able to think of original or creative ways to solve a problem, and keep their students engaged. Solid Teaching Skills The teaching skill set is central to the job of a professor. A professor must be able to teach students well. Professors must have deep knowledge of different teaching methods, and accurately decide the right teaching method to use. A professor must be able to work with others, specifically students. Analytical Skills Analytical skills are vital to every university professor. These skills involve collecting, 
organizing, and deconstructing information to visualize certain patterns and draw logical conclusions. Some popular categories of analytical skills include logical reasoning, critical thinking, research, and data analysis. Professors need to be able to reason critically and organize data properly when teaching and researching. In this video we have explained what you need to do to become a professor in Canada. Are you looking to become a professor? Then this is the perfect guidance for you. If you got this video helpful give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Subscribe our channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.